Dirk van der Kooi. I'm a designer of processes and with the processes I create uh, the furniture. 3D printing is going to change the world of prototyping. I just really am fascinating by about the lines, like the, the, the thick lines that you can see really the flowing of how it's been made and you can follow the process actually how it's been written out. And it's not about really to create everything with the same kind of technique that you have this vision that you can 3D print the whole world. Uh, but it's, it's more about just the tactility of the material and the, the aesthetics of the thick lines. Well, we exhibit some older pieces like the chubby chair, uh, the pulse low chair, which is both of recycled synthetics obtained from uh, old fridges. And um, we also now feature the new Fresnel lamp. It's a suspending lamp, which is made of uh, recycled synthetics also, and now transparent, which gives us a yeah, beautiful coloring, like a champagne color. Um, and it's lit by LED, um, and it's inspired by the Fresnel lens. But for the light emitting, I just wanted to create some kind of a dentist lamp, like the lamp that's hanging above you, like a lot of light, but pleasant to look into. We exhibit also the melting pot table, which I'm rather proud of because it's a, a really simple process, but we built a, a, a humongous press to press down all old uh, pieces of plastic into a solid sheet. And this sheet weighs around 50 kilos only for the top and 40 kilos for the leg. And it's, yeah, it was the idea to create a piece that is like almost indestructible out of the waste, the throw, the things that you throw away are rather breakable. Um, and now we made 20 pieces, 20 tables of our own uh, leftovers out of the test we did to create the endless process and uh, other processes to create the, the chubby, for instance. So these are rather explosive in colors, like old pieces of legs or chairs. When we refine the technique to get a better consistent material, um, these kind of small details make it uh, yeah, quite a, a big difference, but we do it in little steps all, all the way. I really don't have a plan that I use for the future to develop like new things. I just do stuff, test things, be in the workshop, and then discover something, which I get fascinated by and then and go on with.